What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Crawl TV. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I got to TDS. So we covered how Cream Puff got there. My story is a little bit different. I got there because of this trailer right here and today we're going to go over this trailer. So leading up to TDS we were here at Ronco Trailers quite a bit and we were working on getting all of these Jeeps prepped and ready to actually go off-roading for the very first time so that we could see what was going on with them. Now, obviously, Cream Puff, the M83, and the high school Jeep are not necessarily roadworthy enough to drive all the way out to the desert unassisted. That's a break and run on its own, and we wanted to start the break and run in the desert, not the hour drive to get out there. So, obviously, we had to trailer all of these vehicles, and I needed a trailer really bad, and conveniently enough, we were here like a dozen times before TDS at a trailer business. And so every time we came here, I kept looking around the lot and trying to figure out which trailer would suit my needs the best. And I decided on this Rock Crawler 10K trailer by Versatile Trailers. So what I'm gonna show you guys today is this trailer that I got here at Ronco Trailers and what's so unique about it and why I picked it. So we'll start at the front and we'll just kind of work our way through it and I'll show you some of the details about it that makes it exactly what I need for not only what I'm using it for, but for where I live. So we'll start here at the front. Up here at the front of our trailer, we have a two and five sixteenths adjustable coupler. We have our two chains and our breakaway cable here. That's pretty standard on most trailers, but this breakaway cable does attach to our two axles beneath our trailer. They're both 5,200 pound braking axles. So we've got quite a bit of braking on the trailer. Our seven pin harness here is an entirely weather tight from the front to the back of the trailer. There are no butt connectors, no wire nuts. There's nothing hanging down beneath the trailer that's gonna cause an issue eventually. Um, this is a very reliable system and it ties into LED lights all the way through to the back of the trailer. Everything is flush mounted. There's no lights sticking out the sides or the back. Nothing that I'm gonna break when I'm backing this thing up around the farm. Moving further back, we have a top spin uh, 7K drop leg jack on this thing. And what I really like about this jack is that it's A, built into the center of the trailer. Sometimes they're off to the side and they stick out. This one is right dead center. And when you pull the pin, it drops down and there are a bunch of different adjustment holes so that you can pop that pin back in and you're not spinning this thing for days. It's very easy to lift up and drop back down in a, in a hurry. One cool thing that versatile trailers thought about when they were building this trailer is storage. So they put an eyelet here and I really like all the little features that they've added to these trailers to make them more functional. Moving further back in the trailer, we have this expanded metal storage compartment. I'm just using it to store some four x four blocks and stuff for chalking my tires and, and maybe dropping my jack down on it. But you can use this for straps, chains, binders, anything that you need that you just wanna throw in a hurry right up on the front of the trailer. I have a full size spare on the front of the trailer. Some trailers you'll see the spare is mounted up on the side. And the reason I have the spare on the front is because this is a full width trailer, 102 inches from the outside of the stake pocket to the outside of the stake pocket. That is as wide as you can get. So we have a ton of surface area here to strap things down upon for larger equipment, implements, anything that's full width. This Jeep is obviously very narrow, but we will be loading some stuff on here that's really big. And speaking of these tires, these are actually a 10 ply load range E tire on a 15 inch steel wheel. So for the kind of abuse that I'm gonna be putting this trailer through and already have put it through, uh, it's nice to have such a heavy duty tire. Up on the front of our trailer here, you can see that I have a soft shackle around this two by three square tubing. This is a great feature on the front of this trailer to be able to attach things outside of using it for a rock crawler. Even though it's named a rock crawler trailer, this is a heavy duty flatbed trailer. I'll be using it for a lot of my heavy equipment and construction needs. Uh, actually, next week, I'll be taking this Jeep off the trailer and I'll be loading a ton of beams onto it. And it'll be nice to have this big surface area for those as well. But when I'm using it for heavy equipment, I'll be using this three by two uh, square tubing quite a bit to attach implements to it that are gonna be sitting all the way up here on the front of the trailer. And while we're speaking about attachment points, 
we do have these D-rings all the way down the sides of the trailer, as well as these stake pockets. So you can get the stake pocket straps. You can use the stake pockets for stake beds if you wanna make this a utility style trailer. There are a lot of options because they've included all of this stuff into the trailer itself. Now, as far as the structure of the trailer goes, we have this five inch C-channel frame. Not only do we have large gussets in the corners attaching these two pieces together, but this five inch C-channel frame extends all the way down to the front of that front axle. So it's quite a long distance, makes this trailer very sturdy. The main frame of this trailer is again, five inch C-channel. It goes all the way down the sides and this is where all of our LED flush mounted lights are located. This is where all of our harness is stored. Everything is beneath the deck of this trailer. The two by eight treated lumber deck has a two by three uh, angle iron support beneath it. And you can actually see it through the slots on the deck here. And since this is a traded deck, we shouldn't see any warping, any discoloration, uh, or any rot coming out of this for a long period of time. It's a really nice feature that they've added. Moving down the side, we have the storage up front, but we also have built-in storage here. This is a really clever way to use some dead space on these trailers. They've included a lockable box on both sides of the deck. So we have this heavy duty diamond plate box here and this is where i keep my extra straps my extra axle straps and you can see there's quite a bit of dirt and mud in here i live on a ranch i get a lot of dirt kicked up in this but what i really like about this box on both sides of the trailer is that the bottom of it is expanded metal so they have allowed me to take a really dirty strap like this if it's covered in mud i can throw it in here and if i'm crossing water on the road or anything like that this is not gonna collect rust and dirt and rocks in the bottom of this box. Everything will kind of fall out except for the straps. And I really like that feature about it. I'll be using those quite a bit, especially since they're lockable. If you wanna go into an area where you don't want stuff taken off of your trailer, you can throw it into those boxes, lock them up and walk away. Moving farther down the trailer, we have these drive over ramps. These are 10 inch C channel fenders. That's actually, got angle gussets built into it. These fenders are extremely sturdy. And while this Jeep doesn't need the drive over fenders, when we went out to TDS, Enzo brought his trailer, which is the identical trailer in tan. And his Jeep is so wide that he actually has to use the drive over fenders. So I'll share some footage of what that looks like here. I really like the fact that they've added grip tape to these so that if you are using the drive over fenders, you have a nice gripping surface so you're not gonna slip off of this and uh, fall off this, the edge here. So this is again, the Rock Crawler seven foot by 18 foot trailer and it's rated at 9,999 pounds, which is the limit for what you can tow with a standard California Class C driver's license. And that's one of the reasons why I was so interested in this trailer. I mentioned I wanna get a bigger truck, but I don't necessarily want a commercial license or anything like that just to haul my stuff around. So this is the biggest trailer you can get and that's kind of what I wanted. Moving toward the back of the trailer, I really like this feature here. We have this round bar that continues from edge to edge of the trailer. Our ramps are stored in the trailer in the storage compartment here. And these are standard 65 inch ramps that actually clamp over this bar so that you can load any width load. And the reason that I like that is because not only do I have this Jeep, but we have four tractors on the ranch I live on and we have some lawn mowers and different sized equipment. And there are a lot of trailers out there where you have a flat stock and you only have a certain amount that you can move your fenders or your, sorry, your ramps back and forth. But with this continuous round bar, I can set the ramps touching each other in the center or I can set them all the way apart for larger equipment and it gives me a lot of versatility, no pun intended, to load these things onto this trailer. Now we should talk about how I bought this trailer. So I bought it here at Ronco Trailers, obviously. I opted for the matching spare tire and a couple of other features, but there's a lot of stuff I could have added to this trailer like jacks on the back of it and a spare axle or heavier duty axles, uh, quite a bit of stuff that they can customize for you to make it all work for your needs. If you're interested in getting a trailer like this, there are a couple of options for you to look at. First, if you wanna see this trailer, you can go to the manufacturer's website, which is fabform.com. That's F-A-B 
F-O-R-M.com. There are a few different things that you can check out if you like this style, but FabForm also has a lot of other versatile trailers in narrower versions, longer versions with ramps built into the back of them. Uh, you can see there's quite a few here on this lot right now. If you wanna come see one in Southern California, come down to Ronco Trailers and Service where we are right now, and you can see those in person. If you want to get in touch with Enzo or Jeff or anybody else here, you can give them a call at 760-599-4808. Check them out at roncotrailer.com. Email them at sales at roncotrailer.com. Or you can come visit them on the lot at 2475 South Santa Fe Avenue in Vista, California. That's where we are now, and that's where we will be all night as we get this Jeep fixed because we got back from TDS with a list of stuff to repair on the high school Jeep, and that's what we're gonna get started on now. But I'm glad that I had this time before we got started to be able to share this trailer with you guys. It has a lot of cool features that meet my needs so very specifically, especially because this is a stout trailer, and I live up four miles of extreme dirt road. When we got home from TDS, I had to mud bog this thing home, and I don't think any other trailer would have held up to the absolute horrific abuse that I put this thing through doing 30 miles an hour up clay, muddy hills, just trying to get back to my house. So uh, I've pressure washed it since then, but this trailer has already stood up to quite a bit and I can't wait to put it through some more. We have some more trips coming up. Luke and I are gonna take this thing all the way to Reno in a couple months. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you guys will see with this trailer. And I'm also going to use this trailer to uh, branch out a little bit. So we have a friend who's really into pre-runners and I want to, I would just want to know what that world is like. So I'm going to take this, tra this trailer with his pre-runner. We're going to go out to the desert and we're going to do a ride along with him. And we're also going to take this on some other things that I will show you later on. So that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something about this trailer. Again, if you have any questions, check out Ronco Trailers and Services website, uh, or you can check out the versatile trailer lineup on fabform.com. I will see you guys on the next episode right here on Crawl TV. Fuck on.